Welcome back friends. Uh, today we will have a very short session and in this session we are going to discuss about an introduction to phytohormones. Phytohormones, they are plant growth substances in other names they are called as plant growth substances. So we have a, a short session that are explaining about their characteristics, what are the plant growth substances and, and their characteristics and then in the next session we will start discussing one plant growth substances after now. Now, plant growth substances are short introduction. We are saying that chemical coordination in animals is controlled by hormones. However, in plants, we don't have hormones as they are in, in, in animals. Hormones work at a very low concentration at sites some distance from where they are made. That is characteristic of hormones, as how we discussed in endocrinology, that the hormones they always work. At the site are uh, away from where they are produced and they, they are working at a very low concentration so they are effective at a low concentration but plants are coordinated by chemicals which do not necessarily remove from the site of synthesis hence the definition should not be termed as hormones so difference between the plant hormones and the animal hormones is that in the plants the chemical substances controlling the growth of planting they are not necessarily moving from where they are produced, so they can exert the effect from even where they are produced uh, to the even the cells which are near. So it is different from plants and animals. That's why we don't name them directly as hormones, but we name them as plant growth substances, is the substances which tend to catalyze the growth of food. Of planting. So, in view of this, and because of the effect uh, on some aspect of growth, they are called the growthy substances. Now, remember, growth can be divided into cell division, cell elongation, and cell specialization. This is very important because when we will be discussing about the details of one growth substance after another, it is very important to know the characteristics that this growth substance uh, will catalyze a certain kind of reaction and another growth substance will catalyze another kind of reaction. So it is very important for you to know in your head that we have three stages of cell growth. We have the cell division, then cell elongation, then cell specialization. So as we shall see later, some of the growth substances, they tend to catalyze cell division, and some of them, they catalyze cell elongation, and some of them, cell differentiation. Now, the plant growth substances, sometimes they are called as phytohormones. Now, phytohormones are chemical substances produced in plants which accelerate, inhibit or otherwise modify growth. So they can accelerate, they can inhibit or they can modify the growth of plant. So plant hormones may affect any or all of the processes of growth. Actually, when we are saying plant hormones, we mean plant growth substances or we mean phytohormones. So a good terminology to use is phytohormones or plant growth substances rather than saying as plant hormones. Now we have some of the characteristics of plant hormones or phytohormones. The first characteristic is plant hormones are chemicals required in small amount to promote and influence growth development and differentiation of cells and the tissue. However, some of them, they inhibit growth, but this is one among the characteristics of the plant hormones. They are required in small amount to influence growth, development and differentiation of cells and the tissues. As I told you before, because cell division involves three stages and a growth substance can either stimulate or inhibit one of those three stages or even all that and be referred to the plant growth substances. The second tip is that they are often produced and used on a local basis within the plant body. So, hakuna haja zile plant growth substances kuwa transferred ya kubebwa by any means from one part of the plant to another. However, they have a certain kind of movement. Kwamba some of them they, they travel through xylem, some of them they travel through phloem with food, but they can exert the effect at a local, at a pare pare mbapo, zipo. So plant cells produce hormones that affect even differentiation 
different region of the cells producing the hormone. So hormone kitengenezwa somewhere, it can affect the uh, differentiation or it can affect the growth of cells of that area or even cells of the same kind but of different area. Icho kitu wa kiosu katokea kwenye anima hormone. Yani yeweze kani adrenal, adrenaline hormone itengenezwe na adrenal gland. Halafu ile, ile damu ikipita ikifika kwenye adrenal gland tena. Ile hormone ii affect cells of adrenal gland. That is impossible. So normally adrenal hormone have receptors on the other parts of the body. Sio tena kwenye adrenal gland. Lakini plant hormones zipo za ajabu ni kwamba. Uh, maybe meristematic cells they are the one which are producing hormones and if the meristematic cells they are the one which are producing hormone zile hormones zinaenda kwa affect meristematic cells of another region of the plant so they are meristematic cells also that means they are cells of the same kind but they are affected by the hormone which is produced by the cells by their fellow cells of the same kind kitu ambacho cannot occur in any animals so you must note these differences. And then you are plant hormones are transported within the plant by utilizing four types of movements. This is very important to know because in every kind of the chemical substance that we discuss, you must know about the synthesis and the distribution. How is it distributed within the plant body? So they are distributed uh, by four roots or four types of movement. First is localized the movement. That means it is a movement from one cell to it's a nearby cell. Then you have cytoplasmic streaming. That means movement from one part of, of cytoplasm to another. Maybe from cytoplasm to cell membrane. It is by cytoplasmic streaming. Then by vascular tissues. Means xylem and, and phloem tissues. Sometimes it is through xylem. Sometimes it is phloem. As how we shall discuss in detail on every uh, kind of phytohormone. And sometimes used to move hormones from one part of the of the plant. So we have localized movement, cytoplasmic streaming, and the vascular vascular tissues. These are common types of, of movement used by, by plant. And then you have the production of hormone occur very often at site of active growth within the meristem. about the plant growth hormones. Often production of hormone occur in meristems. And then you have five categories of plant growth substances. We discuss them uh, in details later when we start uh, discussing about the every kind of hormones. Thank you, everybody. I wish you nice studies.